welcome back to Tea Time. We're going to be talking a little bit about um, the follow-up of the home selling with four kids and two adults, so six in the family total, guys, and our puppy, Remy. Um, he's a Border Collie Pit Bull mix and stuff. So, you know, that's uh, the, the topic we want to go back to, guys, was going to be, you know, how much help your kids are really going to have to do with with the home, right? You Honestly, guys, I'm, we're so grateful that and blessed that our kids are, you know, well behaved when it comes to some of this stuff. You know, we ask them to say, hey, line up eldest to youngest when it's time to leave so that we're ready and we can do a once over. And, you know, our oldest helps out, guys, and, and makes it really easy and for us to actually be ready to go and everything like that because we like to move Kent the crate out for the puppy and, and take the bed with us so that he can be comfortable in the car and stuff like that. Um, so that really helps guys. And then the other thing is being prepared for the craziness guys, because there will be times we've had plenty of showing requests and there's been times when people have requested the same day showing and, you know, we've made an exception because we've asked for with four kids, at least 24 hour notice and we make the exception and they don't show up guys. You have to be ready for that. You have to be ready to, to deal with the, the fact that some people will flake on you. And unfortunately, you know, it sucks because you don't. You, you put a lot of work into getting your home ready, but then these individuals decide not to show up and and you you feel bad, you feel frustrated, guys. Honestly, you may be a little, you know, upset and, and rightfully so because you've taken the time to get the house ready. But at the end of the day, guys, you get a nice clean house for your family. You get to, you know, come home, relax, and, and it's hard to see that silver lining when, when you're upset about the fact that people don't show up, right? So the other thing is too, guys, is um, you know, sometimes it's not it's gonna be worth it to take the first offer that you get, depending on where you're at and how much work your house may need or not need, you know. Um in our situation, guys, we've just gone through and got an offer and it didn't end up, you know, panning out because the people literally, I don't know, like just had honestly we just couldn't come to an agreement, guys, and didn't didn't meet up with the numbers. So uh, next I'm gonna talk a little bit about um some other thing, guys. So, you know, keep your eye out. All right, guys, another thing that we want to mention also is space, right? Everybody wants to feel like their home hat is as big as possible and stuff. And, you know, for us guys, we're selling because we need more space, right? We got four kids, there's two adults, and it's kind of hard for for all of us to, to kind of live in enough square footage here because what we're dealing with is about 15, close to 1,600 square feet. And that's honestly, guys, unfortunately not big enough for us right now, so... So we need to move move on up to to the next next thing, and um, you know, literally, like you, what you guys want to do, what we do is we literally have you know baskets that we put stuff in, um, whether it's you know food from the pantry, closets and stuff like that, clothes that we want to minimize and everything like that, keeping certain clothes organized in your closets in bins so that the bins look more look neater and they look smaller than like just having like piles of or boxes of clothes. And stuff like that so that's something that you guys want to make sure is again space consolidation make it look bigger than it actually is if the home is not big enough for you guys you want to make sure that other people can see that there's there's enough space for their things and what they will want the home to be the next duo we're going to talk about guys is going to be the niceness or the the quality of your your hand towels for for either bathrooms, kitchens, and stuff like that, guys. Honestly, what we do is we buy packages and we leave them as a package, right? We try to get rid of anything that's visibly, you know, from the store and stuff. And if there's clear things holding them together, we try to leave it and, you know, situate it so that you can't see it because it makes it a lot nicer, guys. It makes it a lot, a lot neater for people to see like, wow, you know, these, these individuals actually took the time to bring out the nice stuff, right? Even, even if people, that's the, at least the thought they get is nice. The second part of that duo that I'm mentioning is, you know, your flowers, right? You want to make it look nice, um, colorful. You know, if you don't want to have a lot of color on your walls, like we don't, we have like, if you can tell in the background, guys, we have lots of, you know, gray and dark gray and like mixtures of that. And we use, you know, either fake flowers or real flowers, depending on what we have available at the time, you know, to, to make it look a lot nicer. nicer. It's, they're both things that are like, honestly, guys, really good props so that people can see how, how much time and effort you've put into your home. All right, guys, another thing we want to mention is the smell. So the smell of the home is key, guys, for um, honestly making people feel like they're at home, like they're, they could see themselves in, in your house and everything like that. Um, the reason for that, guys, is that you want to make people literally imagine themselves here, right? 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but you don't also want to be cheap on the smell stuff. Um, my wife can, you know, kind of back me up here and stuff. And she can let, she can assure you guys that when you do go cheap, I mean, people have been around for a while, guys. So they know when you buy the, the for real Febreze stuff or the for real, like unstoppable smell stuff. And they know when you buy the knockoff guys, cause they, there's not as strong, it's not as good. You know, that's one, one more thing you guys want to make sure you focus on is that you don't go cheap on the smell of the, the home, right? You want to bake some cookies. Great. Um, kind of thing, but you can also buy the smell, right? And some people like it, some people don't. So it's just going to depend on honestly too of what's trendy, what's popular around your area, right? Um, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Um, you know, like, subscribe, guys. We're going to be putting out more content. You know, we want to thank you so much for those that have taken the time to watch. Um, those that are, you know, remember, guys, we're going to put out some videos. We're going to show you guys what our family goes through in selling a home. We're going to kind of walk you through what we're enjoying in life and. You know, hopefully you guys, you know, can share, comment, tell us what you think, tell us what you like. You know, if there's something you guys want us to talk about and say, hey, you know, maybe this topic, X topic, Y topic is a, is of interest and stuff. And, you know, we're going to kind of be sharing our lives as, as we go along. And, um, you know, you guys, as like I mentioned before, we'll get to see some of the fam later on. All right, guys, everybody stay, stay good, stay healthy, man. Peace and love.